Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. In the news, Adobe is announcing record revenue. We've got Adobe reports record revenue, uh, and then Adobe achieved record quarterly revenue of $2.2 billion in its second quarter of fiscal year 2018, which represents 24% year-over-year revenue growth. So this is interesting because this is directly related to their subscription strategy which has been controversial. A lot of people have not been happy about that. You know, in the old days, we would buy Lightroom, we would buy Photoshop, we would have it, we could own it for as long as we want, we get updates while they're supporting it for a few years, and you'd, you could keep using it without feeling the need to pay out again if there wasn't anything you felt you needed yet. And there was ways around. We could convert files to DNG if our if our uh, specific version did not support updates anymore. We could still use it. But now it's very heavily being pushed to the subscription-based. Everything in the cloud and everything coming down through regular updates. And, and, and you need to be signed in and your subscription paid for. That's how mine works. I'm CC subscription. Now, the reason I do that is because I use uh, Premiere Pro and I use Photoshop, and I use Lightroom, and I've also used a lot of the other programs off and on over the years. So I don't mind that. I also teach, so I get the educational discount, which is still, I think, up to $30 a month now. It's still I'm still paying that much. However, it is less expensive, and I do get value out of all those products. I have wondered lately, though, I've looked at whether or not it was an expense I could cut. Because like a lot of people, everything's getting more and more expensive and I always look to see that my money's being well spent, that I'm getting value for my dollar and it's crossed my mind. Uh, I must admit there is that uh, push back in my head not to simply because I know the program, I'm familiar with it and using anything else to the level that I know how to use these programs, especially Premiere Pro, Photoshop and Lightroom, would take a significant investment in time, and time is money. So I've stayed with it. I actually don't foresee myself leaving it anytime soon, but I am aware that there are options out there, a lot of them free options that are very good, and I know a lot of people are, are, are leaving. On the other hand, I say that, but then when we look at the record growth, it's obviously working for Adobe. There's still a lot of people still using it, a lot of people buying into the subscription program, the subscription model, as I have. Um, but I'd just like to see what you guys have to say about this. I'm curious, is this something that upsets you that you weren't happy with? Is this something you were, you had no problem with? You, you have a subscription and you're quite happy with it and you think it's good value for the monthly fee that you pay? Um, what package did you get? Because I know they have like a photographer bundle for Photoshop and Lightroom, which I think is less expensive as memory serves. Then you can get the whole kit and caboodle like I do, which I, I'm, I it, it was about 50 bucks. I think it may be even more than that now monthly. As I said, I have the educational discount, so I'm not sure. Um, and luckily, I get that because I teach. Um, the And actually, I teach Photoshop as well. So um, that is very helpful. And one of the reasons I haven't switched. But I'd like to know what you guys have to say about it. Let me know in the comments below. You big Adobe user? You plan on staying with them forever? Have you already left Adobe? Were you frustrated with this model? Were you frustrated even before that? Um, what are you currently using right now? Let me know. Let's discuss it. Curious to see what you guys think about Adobe, uh, about their subscription strategy. Has it caused you to leave, to stay? What do you think about these record profits? Let me know. Interested to hear what you guys have to say. Let's discuss it. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.